ClickUp's calendar view is your place for planning, scheduling, and even resource management. Just like in the other views, it's up to you how much of the hierarchy you want to see on your calendar. You can choose to view one single list, an entire folder, all folders within a space, or you can get a high level overview of everything in your workplace by clicking everything. You can also choose how much time you want to see in your calendar view by clicking on this drop down menu. You can see scheduled tasks for any given day within the day view. You can see a rolling four day period or even visualize an entire week or month on your calendar. Use these arrows to skip between months, weeks, or days. Anytime you want to jump back to today's tasks, just click today. By default, any scheduled task that you have will appear in your calendar. You can also add colors to any of your different lists. And if you've scheduled those lists with dates, you'll see them appear on your calendar. If you want your subtasks to appear in the calendar view, just make sure that you've clicked on the subtask toggle button and selected on. Any unscheduled tasks and subtasks can be seen by clicking here. If a task has a time estimate, it will be scheduled automatically for the duration of the time estimate if you drag it onto the day or week views. But you can also simply drag an item onto the month view to schedule it. Once a task or subtask is scheduled, I can elongate the due date if I want, move it around to change the start date, or even drag and drop it back into my unscheduled task area to schedule it later on. You can also choose how you want to color tasks on the calendar by clicking on the droplet icon. You can choose to color them by status, by the colors of their parent lists, or if you have drop down custom field set up, you can also color them by custom field. Click on the cog icon here to show different items on each of your task cards. I can show things like assignee, time estimates, even the location where a task resides. I can also flip these toggles to choose to show things like hours or weekends on my calendar. Another cool option to check out underneath the cog icon is the always stay on this date toggle. This will save any date that you scroll to as the default whenever you come back to this view. So for example, let's say that you were planning a conference and every time you open up a calendar view, you want it to open up on a specific date. Just have that toggle flipped on and you can make that happen. Lastly, don't forget to check out the bottom option of the cog menu to see how to sync with Google Calendar and Outlook, Apple, and iCal. Especially in those times where you're viewing a lot of tasks on your calendar, it can be really hard to just see what you need to do. That's when you want to flip the My Schedule toggle. Now I can see by these blue outlines all of my assigned tasks from everywhere in the workplace. Thus far, we've been in everyone mode, which means we're seeing all of the tasks assigned to all of the different people within our workplace. But you can always switch over to me mode to just see the tasks that are assigned to you. And you can choose to include tasks where you have assigned comments, subtasks, or checklists. You can filter your tasks by clicking on the funnel icon. From here, you can choose to view tasks with a specific assignee, for example. And you can layer different filtering options on top of one another depending on what you want to see.
Click anywhere in your calendar view to quick create a new task. Simply type in the new name of the task and press save. You can also make quick changes in bulk to tasks in calendar view with the multitask toolbar. Hold command on a Mac or control on Windows and press click to select multiple tasks. And from there, I can utilize the multitask toolbar at the top of my screen to set watchers, assignees, or even do things like archive or delete tasks in bulk. Anytime you make a change to a calendar view layout, whether that be viewing a different time period on your calendar or showing different items on your task cards, you have the option to save the changes to the layout. You can even choose to save changes automatically. This will save the layout change for everyone in your workplace. Click on the ellipses as well next to a view if you want to change other viewing options. You can do things like make it the default view for everyone in your workplace, choose to always use me mode. You can even make it a personal view so it's only visible to you. And protect the layout so that others can't make changes. You can also save it as a favorite so you can come back to it at any time. This means that if I jump to a different favorite at the top of my screen, I can always come back to that new calendar favorite we created. You can always create a new calendar view as well by clicking on the plus sign. That's it for calendar view, but if you have any other questions, just let us know at help at clickup.com.